And so, as we promised, uh, in the booth with us is Don the Snake Perdome, who uh, comes now and then, goes to all kinds of racing. You're just a, <laughs> you're a major race fan, aren't you? If it's got yeah. a motor on it, you want to go see it. Yeah, that's right. I've been up here in Infinity last year for the Indy Car Race, and I'm coming back for this year. But you know, this drag racing still uh, turns me on. I, I, oh I yeah. Tell you, you know, it's pretty <laughs> tough. And uh, I could tell you of all forms of motorsports, this has got to be the toughest. And um, uh, you know, it's over so quick. You know, watching Bernstein and them come up their first round. And, you know, you work Friday, Saturday, Sunday morning. You go yeah. up there in three and a half seconds, it's, it's over. over. <laughs> so that doesn't have any other kind of racing, you know, unless you hit the wall for a slap. But <laughs> that's what's tough. And it's hard to explain that to people unless they come here and see it. Yeah. And Snake, you know, you've been coming up here for a number of years since this place opened back in the late 60s. But mm -hmm. um, you've got two wins here up at Sonoma. And, I mean, you've got a number of wins. But how, how do those wins up here rate? Well, they're always great, of course. You know, I'm a, a Southern California guy. And I come, you know, I, you know, we come up here and race all the time. The Fremont Drag Strip and uh, Affluent Bay and then Johnson Finney on here when they put this track in. It was it was incredible. So, yeah, I had I had a, I had a good time up here, and I really liked it. But uh, all in all, I wanted to say with this funny car category coming up, I'll let to my school car there. The funny cars, I think, was the toughest category out here. Now, I've never raced pro stock, but I'm talking fuel category. But even back in the day, I mean, we know now, I mean, it's, yeah. there, it's a whole different animal. Back when you started running funny cars and you ran top fuel back in the 60s, early 70s, it was much harder to drive a funny car. Oh, yeah. Oh, I mean, you yeah. drove a front motor drag, sir, yeah. I never did, so yeah. was there... Yeah, that was okay, but the funny car, the short wheelbase, you're getting it sideways and running it down through there, it was a lot different. The fuel car, you know, you got the little hand control, the steering wheel, and you're real dainty with it. I mean, it's, it, trust me, it takes some guts to do it, but the funny car... That's why I admire John Ford so much, and I think we all do, because of what he's done so, so many years on top of it. Here comes Melanie Troxel and Paul Lee. For Melanie Troxel, who is starting fourth, it's her best start of 2011. That team has been kind of a developing process for her. And Paul Lee drives for Mike's dad, Jim Dunn, whose last win came at Seattle. That was with Tony Bartone in 2008. They need a win. You know, my dad's been around as long as Don Perdome has. <laughs> in fact, you guys raced a number of times back in the day, didn't you? He's older than I Come on. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's older than everybody. Him and Coletta. Except the Greek. Him and Coletta. Yeah. <laughs> Dave Reed. Guys, now the eyes are on the sky as the sun starts to come out. The track at the beginning of this round was the best we've seen this weekend, so crew chiefs could get aggressive, but now that track may start warming up. You've got better surface area at the start on the right side. On the left side, there's an imperfection at half track, and then the surface area is better there all the way to the top end. So right now, drivers with lane choice pretty much preferring that right lane, Mike. Yeah, and I, I think there's not a big difference as long as that, until that marine layer uh, burns off, and you can see some of that cloud cover is burning off, so I think in the later second and third round that left lane is uh, going to may maybe be a little bit more of a challenge for some of these drivers. So Troxel and Paul Lee. Wow. Hey, look at that. Paul Lee hasn't nice won run. a round of racing since last year and now he's got that baby done. Paul Lee runs a 4-16, 305 miles an hour. And that's what keeps it coming back, huh, Mike? You, yeah. know, it's, you never know. You just don't. You go up there and you're 16 qualifier, beat number one qualifier. Yeah, you so. get that hook in you. Yeah, we've all been there before, just to, that yeah. one round win. And obviously, Melanie Troxwell had some problems. We hadn't seen a lot of tire smoke on this racetrack in the first round. Kind of unusual to, to see that out of that in and out car. Yeah, and as you pointed out earlier, this is the time to attack the track, too. You know, the temperature's just right, the overcast, it's nice and cool. So, you know, everybody's doing everything they got to get by that first round. It's so important to win first round. 